Hey guys, so we're so fortunate to have just spent two weeks in Europe. It was our first family trip overseas. We hit up London, Rome, Florence, and finally Paris. And I had so many questions going in and learned a lot in the process. So here are some of my favorite packing tips. We're gonna start with like general kid stuff and then get into my wardrobe and a fun little European haul. Okay, so first, this is not a carry-on video. I don't know how people do that. Um, we each had a medium-sized suitcase we tucked air tags into that thankfully we did not need. Uh, but you know, we still had to carry these around and be in cabs with them, and so I did not pack two weeks worth of clothes. Instead, I brought stuff for sink washing because laundry prices were crazy. I had a little stain stick and these travel packets. You could probably use hotel soap, but this just felt more official. And then dried them on the towel racks. It worked great. I would bring enough underwear and socks that would be less fun to launder so we brought a laundry bag to stick that stuff in which i stored every time in ford's suitcase and told him it was all his stuff it was not <laughs> Hi. Next, plan for the weather. I'm glad I brought rain jackets. We used them several times, even though in general we had really great weather. And then check dress codes, as some churches require that knees and shoulders be covered. And so I brought lightweight pants, long dresses, and shawls, which turned out to be extra useful. We're in the Vatican and Tess just lost her tooth. Yep, hers doubled as a bloody handkerchief, which ended up in Ford's suitcase. So cute. So many memories. Uh, the best thing I brought were prompted journals, which shockingly I did not have to force them to write in. This is so fun. Where are you sitting? And I really think it's because they asked questions and had prompts rather than a blank notebook. Kind of along the same lines, don't skip on activities. They make great kids travel guides and games for the airplane. Markers and a little pad were like perfect for the long dinners. And I found that as much as I'm okay with iPad in the United States, I felt much guiltier using electronics abroad. Unless it's for taking pics, thank you Ross for bringing this giant portable charger and converters. And I ended up picking up a selfie stick too. Hi. You'd think I'd have one, but I don't. Something I did not pack is a kid's medicine kit, which unfortunately we needed. And I figured you could find pharmacies, which you can, but we had a really hard to read Celsius thermometer. I'm so confused. Giant baby Advil, there was no children's. We needed bug bite cream, and it would not have hurt to bring some melatonin. Um, a little tangent here, it's so hot during the day and the sun goes down really late. But then it's really cool. There's a lot of stuff happening on the streets, tons of gelato. It's so good. And so my kid's only like halfway adjusted. Hi. My tip would be to not schedule any tours like before nine or 10. Do you wanna go on another tour? The other major thing I did not bring are suitcase organizers. Oh man. And my girlfriend had this cool thing you hung up in the closet or even just like a packing cube that you put into a drawer would have saved me a ton of repacking time. Again. Okay, let's move on to my stuff, starting with bags. I got this great crossbody because you do want to keep your valuables close, but then I was like, how am I going to carry everything else? A cheap Amazon tote bag, which was awesome because Ross could carry it. And we just had like water, white bees. I don't know why, but the napkins there are like paper. Thank you. Do not waste space on other purses. I brought this one and literally wore it once. In general, think dressier comfort. So I only pack loungewear for the plane basically, and then I swapped out my usual yoga pants for like long maxi skirts that were equally comfortable. Did a little TJ Maxx haul and got some easy dresses I could wear during the day or belt at night. I did bring one pair of jeans that I wore in London because it was cooler. But my biggest tip is to leave room for shopping. Um, I didn't think I'd waste time on it because I don't love shopping in the US, but turns out I do love shopping in Italy. Um, Ross took the kids to this gladiator class, so funny. And I went to one store and got a few things, this asymmetrical khaki skirt oh. that doubled as a drying towel, uh, this dark pattern skirt that the kids could not get dirty if they tried, <laughs> this pretty white eyelet dress that was perfect for rooftop picks. I got this dress, which is so comfy and I wear it all the time. And finally, these cute jean shorts I wore to this crazy amusement park in Paris. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a great driver! Um, I don't know, I just found this stuff more original and more reasonably priced. And then we got to Florence and Ross took the kids to make pizza and I did something crazy. I drove almost an hour to the Prada outlet. I don't normally shop designer. Mm -hmm. 
but there are some great finds. This purse was further marked down as defective because there is the tiniest crease on the back. And so this was my birthday present to myself. My next tip would be to bring stuff you can mix and match. I went really like monochromatic kind of accidentally, but it worked out because I had lots of neutral shirts to pair up with the new bottoms. And finally, limit shoes. Oh my gosh, I brought two pairs of heels. I only wore one pair once because you kind of tend, at least we did, walk to dinner and walk everywhere. So these walking shoes I got, which are beat up now, were like my MVPs. And then I brought another cute pair of sneakers that I wore on the airplane to save space. And then I was like, am I gonna work out? I knew that Presley would motivate me, so I brought a really rundown pair of shoes that I planned on leaving there to leave room for other stuff. This one's from Italy. Like our new souvenir friends. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sure many of you can add so many more tips, so please do so below. And it was really nice to meet some of you while I was over there. I will see you soon, bye. Hi, sorry.